So Terrence Crawford is finally getting the attention that he deserves. He was on CBS uh, morning show, some type of show, morning show that they had over there. Um, just talking about his life, his boxing career, now all that stuff. Um, but I'm going to piggy, piggyback on what Roy, jo Roy Jones Jr. said. Everybody needs that fighter to put them to the to the first uh, or to the pound for pound. We we all knew that Terence Crawford had the skills and everything in the toolbox to be the pound for pound fighter, but he wasn't able to showcase. He didn't have a fighter to showcase that with. Just like Canelo had Triple G, uh, just like Floyd Mayweather had Oscar De La Hoya had Ricky Hatton. Um, all those fighters he fought to be the number one pound for pound. And I'm glad that finally Terrence Crawford is getting that that media, that attention, that pound for pound, um, it, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Atten uh, attention, I guess. I mean, he, he is the number one at the moment. And I don't think there's nothing stopping him in the next two, three years, uh, depending on how much he wants to fight how much longer he wants to fight but I'm, I'm really glad he's actually getting the uh the the attention that he deserves so let me know what you guys think about this is it fair is it not fair i think it's fair because like i said i think he needed errol spence uh just if you saw the last epilogue uh, episode that he went over to terrence uh to errol spence's corner and told him hey I appreciate you because without you, this wouldn't have been possible. Like all of this is because of you and me, obviously. But uh, Errol Spence was that one fighter to get him to that number one spot. Let me know what you guys think.